Sarah, thank you. Well, she's accused of pouring bleach in her husband's coffee, trying to poison him, and now she's behind bars. Melody Johnson is facing attempted murder charges. Police say her plot was foiled when her husband set up surveillance cameras and caught her in the act. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney has been looking into this wild story tonight. What? You know, you really can't make this stuff up, no. guys. Yeah, it was just so crazy. After about two to three weeks of this man drinking his coffee, this husband thought, why does this keep tasting weird? But rather than ask his wife if she might know, he got chemical testing strips and secret cameras that he says show her trying to poison and kill him. It was shocking enough to reread the court paperwork twice. Melody was trying to poison him by pouring bleach into his coffee maker. Yep, that's real life. And now Melody Johnson is facing real charges of attempted first degree murder. But as a toxicologist points out, this was not a very good plan if the goal was to you know, kill him or injure him significantly. According to court documents, this poison saga began in March while their family was stationed in Germany. Melody's husband is in the Air Force. The documents say her husband started noticing his coffee tasting bad, and after a few weeks, he decided to start pretending to drink it instead and bought pool chemical testing strips. Those showed high levels of chlorine in his coffee pot water. So he installed a camera which recorded Melody pouring something into his coffee pot. He just couldn't tell what it was. In June, they moved back to Tucson where he was stationed at the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. And in their new home, he installed more cameras that looked like fire alarms. Those caught it all on camera. Melody taking bleach from the laundry room, pouring it into a container, then walking over and pouring it into the coffee maker. He turned the recordings over to Tucson police. As for a motive, documents say the two have a child and were going through a divorce. So how did he survive? It would take a lot of bleach to, to poison somebody. Household bleach is not even quite that strong. Arizona medical toxicologists Dr. Dan Kwan and Dr. Will Heise say household bleach only has a concentration of about 5%, which is far less than something like a pool acid that could do significant damage. Because she was allegedly trying to poison him discreetly, both doctors say she likely wasn't pouring much bleach in, meaning it wasn't doing much damage, but he could have still had some irritation burning sensation to their throat or their um, they may they may even get some chest discomfort as well as some some stomach discomfort luckily he was okay making for an extra acidic breakfast he never expected to have allegedly at the hands of his own wife with the worst intentions coffee is you know caustic enough for most of us inside our stomach let alone without some added bleach inside of it Melody Johnson is being held on a $250,000 bond and entered a not guilty plea at her arraignment today. In addition to attempted first degree murder, she's also facing charges of aggravated assault and adding harmful substances to food and drink, guys. It's impressive uh, the steps the man took uh, installing all those True. cameras. It also just speaks to, wow, that was a very toxic relationship as well. Quite. I mean, no pun intended. No, right? yeah, no, yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. But it's definitely a crazy story. But he did take a lot of steps. And had he not caught this on camera, I don't think they would have been able to press charges because you can't you can't prove anything like yeah. that without showing it. Yeah, my apologies if I missed this, but is she saying she didn't do it? Yeah, she entered a not guilty yeah. plea. And and what's is there any reasoning behind how this would have happened if she didn't? No. Okay. No. I mean there's not. And where do you find these stories? <laughs> <laughs> They're always wild. They find me, yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> they find me. Well, here's another one. Interesting yeah, indeed. We'll keep up on it for sure. All right, Brianna, thank you. Yeah.